Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man walah amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we have hadith number 127 from Abu Murairah radiallahu anhu ala nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Laqad ra'aytu rajalan yatakallabu fil jannati fi shajaratin qata'aha min zahri al-tariqi kanat tu'zi al-muslimin rawahu muslim. This hadith in Sahih Muslim, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, I saw a man going about in paradise and enjoying himself, walking around and enjoying himself in Jannah as a reward for cutting from the middle of the road a tree which was causing inconvenience to the Muslims. So there was a pathway, a street, and a, you know, a tree grew and started hanging over. And these branches were now obviously affecting the, the path of the Muslims. So this man, upon seeing this, he went and he cut down these branches so that the Muslims have an easy path to traverse upon. And because of this, the Prophet says, I saw this man walking and enjoying himself in paradise as a result of this deed. In another narration, مَرَّ رَجُلٌ بِغُسْنِ شَجَرَةٍ عَلَى ظَهْرِ الطَّرِيقِ It mentions a man who passed by a branch of a tree leaning over a road and he decided to remove it, saying to himself, فَقَالَ وَاللَّهِ لَأُنْحِيَنَّ هَذَا عَلِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ لَا يُؤْذِيهِمْ فَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ He said to him, by Allah, I will remove from this, I will remove this from the way of the Muslims so that they will not be affected or harmed by this. Because of this, the Prophet says he was entered into paradise. In another report in Bukhari and Muslim, بَيْنَمَا رَجُلٌ يَمْشِي بِطَرِيقٍ وَجَدَ غُسْنَ شَوْكٍ عَلَى الطَّرِيقٍ فَأَخَّرَهُ فَشَكَرَ اللَّهُ لَهُ فَغَفَرَ لَهُ it mentions that a man was walking and he saw a thorny branch on the road. So he removed it and Allah appreciated his action and forgave him. Again, we see this wording, Allah expressed gratitude to him for this. And Allah forgave him for this deed. Or forgave his sins as a result of, of this deed. So this hadith or these ahadith, these narrations, they prove once again, the importance of benefiting the Muslims and removing harm from them. Not being a person who harms them. This, yani, These deeds, benefiting the Muslims and removing the harms from them, is a sabab, is a, is a cause for maghfirah, Allah's forgiveness, wa dukhulul jannah, and it's a cause for entrance into paradise. Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin, rahimahullah ta'ala, <laughs> he said upon this, these hadith, he said that this hadith proves that whoever removes a harm from the Muslim, he will have a great reward from Allah Azza wa Jal fi amrin hissi. But he said this is in something practical. Actually going out, removing something from the street, this is something practical, yet he will have these great rewards. فَكَيْفَ بِالْأَمْرِ الْمَعْنَوِي So the Shaykh said, what about something that is Bigger than this. And it's something in terms of, for example, beliefs. He says there are people out there, evil people. People who have methodologies and aqidas, beliefs that are off of the path of Islam. Far from the Quran and the Sunnah. These people are also laying down harms in the path of the Muslims. Their teachings the aqidahs that they are teaching the Muslims are also harmful. So imagine the reward of the person who removes these harms. Who saves the, not just the Muslim physically, but he saves the Muslims in terms of their beliefs. Saving somebody physically is good, as these ahadith are proving. But saving someone's belief, saving someone from sin, saving someone from a path of misguidance is even more rewarding. Is even greater in the eyes of Allah. In the one you are saving him physically, in the other you are saving his, his deen. You are saving him from potentially Jahannam. And you are maybe getting him onto the path that leads him towards, towards paradise. So the reward for this type of protecting the Muslims and benefiting the Muslims through da'wah, through teaching them the correct methodology and aqidah and refuting the false methodologies and false belief systems, this is even more rewarding.
This brings about Allah's forgiveness even more so. And potentially Allah entering the person into paradise even more so. But for this, we require knowledge. We require basic ilm. So that we can teach people this is incorrect. Because this is what the Quran says. And this is what the Sunnah of the Prophet says. And this is the path of guidance. Because this is what the Quran and the Sunnah says. If we can do this, then we are benefiting Muslims. And we are saving them. And we are even more so deserving of Allah's forgiveness and, inshallah, His paradise. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal for His maghfirah and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal for Dukhul Jannah. Ameen Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha 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 il